and tip number five would be your artwork. So update your artwork. Again, move it around, try it in different uh, areas. Um, even, you know, this is a shot that I took with my iPhone. I mean, our iPhones are amazing picture taking, yeah. Um, and uh, I put it on canvas and it's something that I, I use. I use it for staging and I have, I actually have two. I have one in my house and then I use it for staging because it was such a great shot and great color. Um, the next one is a, a photo from, this was a little, when I was in Paris in, um, oh, yeah, when I was in Paris, I think this is Paris. Um, yeah, <laughs> I think so. Um, this was a little dining area in the, the apartment that we had rented. And I mean, it almost looks like a painting, the way that lighting comes through. And I think that's because the iPhone gives it that little bit of graininess as well. So, and again, I put this on canvas. I've given it as a present to, you know, the couple that went away with us. And so you can, you can make your own artwork or move around what you have so that you get a different look. Um, also layer it on your fireplace. It doesn't necessarily have to be hung up. It can be two or three pictures that have similar themes that can be put together. Um, adding a few pieces to a nightstand in a, in a guest bedroom, in our spare room. Again, that layering gives a nice interest, something to look at. And creating a gallery wall with great candid shots. Gallery walls, I think people get intimidated that they're difficult. They're not really. You just have to make sure that you do a plan, place your photos out on the floor beforehand. I took a picture, the last gallery wall that I did for a client, we kind of arranged them on the floor. I took a picture and then I used that picture to transfer how we were gonna hang them up on the wall. And that can kind of be done in a couple of hours as well once your photos are all together. Um, and huddle up.